Hi friends and welcome back to German Engineering, the show we share our love for big stompy robots and creative builds today with the Cataphract is 0xp. Yep, Fract the Sphere it says on our Mac. We're back into Cataphract brawling range guys. This is gonna be glorious. I hope you will enjoy it. Now let's have a look under the hood shall we? In order to build this Mac you need a light engine 335 to provide the speed of 77.5 kph which is quite fast for a cataphract at 70 tons. We have Garden ECM in the left torso to keep us safe and to keep us a little bit under undercover before we get into firing range. And for our weapons we have an Ultra AC20 with a total of 4 tons of ammo and we have 4 medium lasers as our arm weapons. As always guys the cataphract is a knuckle dragger so be sure to clear enough space to be able to shoot all your lasers, especially sideways. Um, as you can see, it is a fairly wide and fairly thick mech. Now, for the addition of ECM, of course, you already know that. You need to make sure to skill the additional ECM nodes in your skill tree. These are basically mandatory. The firepower is listed as 40, but we have an Ultra AC20, so we can double tap that. And if we double tap the Ultra AC20, we get a total firepower per volley of 60 which is kind of nice and nice firepower for our little brawler right here. As far as the skill tree is concerned, hang on, do I need to say anything else about this? Yes, um, legs, as you can see, need to be shaved by five armor points each. But other than that, everything else fits quite nicely. If you wanted to, if you wanted to, you could shave the legs a little bit further, maybe drop uh, one ton of your 20 ammo, shave the legs a little bit further and add in a um, AMS plus some ammo or just shave the legs a little bit down further and put in a laser AMS. I will leave it up to you. It's definitely possible, but I would say not needed. You got the ECM to keep you safe. For the skill tree, as always, just pause the video when you want to have a look in more detail. Here is the firepower tree, of course, enhanced arc UAC, magazine capacity and laser duration. The survival tree, left-hand side as always. Then we go into sensors, as I already mentioned, enhanced ECM 1 and 2. Seismic 1 and 2 is also really nice and helpful. It only costs you three points. And in the auxiliary tree, we take double Kusha with Kusha Kudon and double artillery strike and presto, bada boom, here is our finished cataphract 0xp. The paint job, by the way, is a buccaneer in case you were wondering, and I think it is glorious. Guys, if you like this build, if you enjoyed this video, share it with a friend, hit the thumbs up button if you haven't done so yet, and of course, if you want to support me in doing this full time, check out the various links in the video description below. Thank you to all the supporters at this point. Enjoy the clips. I like the erect AC20 or oh, UAC20 barrel. Kinda. I don't know. I'm gonna call this mech erect Tratron. Hey, I'm an objective gamer. I kept Sigma. Alright. Where are we going? Hmm. Should be a tunnel gamer. Target acquired. Artillery strike online. Let me have a quick look inside. No idea how safe this is gonna be, but I'm doing it. Ah, we're Are pushing. You behind you, or Orion? Yeah, just keep backing up. You're fine. This is the point where it gets scary. Get yep. Seismic Bravo two, one guy to our left. Target acquired. Target spotted. And we jammed, unfortunately, already. Otherwise, this would have been a kill shot here. Target oh, destroyed. we still got him. Ow. Oh, that's just one guy over there. Target acquired. And we jammed again on a second double tap. Oh, man. Acquired. Why? Why? Salt man. That's gonna hurt. Ow. Ow. What am I stuck on? 
Jammed again, third time now. Holy shit, they're pushing from behind as well. The jams are real, boys. Where are my teammates going? Okay. Oh, we've got three guys over 80% hiding right now. That's not good. He's dead. Nice. Can I finally unlock my artillery strike? Hopefully that goes where I, need it, where I aimed it. There's a gargoyle. Ow. Yeah, come on. 100% crap. Go for it. Go for it. Yes. Oh, my ECM got critted out. That sucks. There's we jammed again. He just shut down. ATM Vapor Eagle, that's dangerous. Let's see if we can push over here. Uh, actually, there's nothing else here. Okay. Go well, this way. 48 rounds remain. Yep, here comes the skill. Heat level critical. New target acquired. That's a couple of nice hits. Yep. Two targets remain. Let's go. That's the last guy. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Okay. Hey, I was able to shoot almost all my UX 20 rounds. Didn't get the second artillery strike out, though. That would have been a juicy artillery strike on that uh, side where we got pushed in by the Marauder. But, uh, two killing blows, two solo kills, two KMDDs, almost 950 damage done, and 337 damage taken with seven components destroyed in a cataphract. I will take that any day. It's a 600 match score cataphract game, guys. This cataphract is a lot better than the other one. <laughs> G, freaking G. I could have seen the, the crab actually pushing. It took him a while, but then he pushed out. He just went too deep then. But I needed him to push that uh, enemy gargoyle. Otherwise, I would have just died there probably. Because he was completely fresh, right? And I was fighting against his teammates for quite a while. GG's. Why is the teammates are going into weird way into weird spots? It should be clear by now that they're fighting around Fox 7 on this map. This is the only good spot to fight at. Three shots, three double taps. Look at this! How far this is protruding! It's like it's like it's like I got a, a right side schlong, ready for some hot mech on mech action. Shouldn't have said that. <laughs> uh, we'll see what we can do. But we have ECM. That's gonna be even better. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna feel so much better with ECM. I has no Dorito. I do not exist. That's some interesting shadow. I, I've had a double shadow right there. I'm, uh, I'm multiplying. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me how. It's happening. Um, I'm yoloing right now into the enemy team, right? So uh, this is TTB. This is the rest of the team. So let's, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's calm it down a little bit. Let's calm it down a little bit. Rain it in a little bit. Drop an artillery strike on that guy. He's gonna like that. Hope that the RT hits anything. Oh, one hit, two hits. Maybe more? Target spotted. Nope, three hits. Alright, the Kodiak Spirit Bear. Artillery strike online. Oh fuck, I could, could have hit him. Yeah, right here. Target spotted. Artillery there we go. Activated. Echo 7 to Echo 8 corner, Kodiak Spirit Bear. We're hitting him once, twice. Nice. Okay, can't see. 
This is not the spot I want to be in, though, because this is not a brawling corner. This is a bad corner. Yep, there's bad people looking this way, so we will be going this way. Uh, let's see, maybe here. That's the spirit bear. He's, he's yoloing out. Alright. I just saw a spirit bear. Where did he go? He must be here. Alright. Warning, incoming. Warning, incoming skill. Jesus, they're all there. This is the thing that I really hate, which is the enemy freely shooting at me and freely poking me, where my teammates are just sitting behind buildings and waiting and looking, you know? This is the, this is the thing that grinds my gears in this game. Because there's no bonus points for sitting behind buildings and waiting. There's bonus points for shooting the enemy. So let's stop hiding and fight. Come on. Finally, funny, I have to explain that all this time. In tier 1 matches. The spirit bear is probably still there. Yeah, he's still there. You can see his shadow right here. Atlas to your left, Spirit Bear. We're pushing Echo 7, Echo 8. Push. New target. Ah, there we go. Made the call out, hopefully he can shoot him. Oh, that's the Kodiak, okay. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Nice. Let's keep going this way. Too deep, too deep. Damn it. Good. Hey, hey, hey. Somebody needs a navigation system. Oh, holy shit. Can I shoot this? I can shoot it and I have to. Even though I don't want to, I had to. Target Damn it. We couldn't do a fadeaway shot here. Yeah, we got a side torso. Trying to cool down now, which is not easy. There we go. Critical. Up the Atlas, guys, come on. Let's get around this corner. Trying to cool down right now a little bit. Yeah, it's a jam. After the fourth shot or so. It's got all the rooms in that thing. We're unjamming now. There we go, shooting right from the hip, two taps, back into cover. So this again. Ow. Ow. Taking too much damage. From everywhere. Jesus. There we go. Okay, let's go. Alright, Lord Lord. That's what I like to hear. As it means we've been fighting like a crazy madman. I like it. Okay, where's the rest of them? Yeah, there was one. We can snipe a lord. And we've got. Whoa, fuck. Yikes! Excel engine! I knew it! Alright, let's go for the Stomp Pro. Yep. Yeah, there's the light make, I think. Yeah. Echo 7. Target Alright, there we go. No more well done, guys. Good GG. Job, soldiers. See, sometimes you just have to, like, try and motivate your teammates a little bit so they stop hiding and actually realize they're playing Mech Warrior online. And then good things can happen. Props to the Atlas for actually pushing. Um, one kill, three KMDDs, 768 damage done, almost 800 damage, uh, 450 taken, and uh, two UVs killed. See how that, that pinpoint. Quicker damage distribution or quicker damage delivery feels a lot better than the Rakataka. It just takes too much time when on a mech that is as unwieldy as the Cataphract, it's really, really hard to put off. So, this one was better. Almost 500 match score. GG.